How did you feel when you heard from him this morning? Good. Felt like somebody just lifted a car up off him. <laughs> That's what I felt. Felt just like somebody lifted a car up off him. A lot of pressure was off him, you know. I felt pretty good. Matter of fact, it didn't seem like I was tired as I was at free. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Charles Stevens was tired when he woke up this morning because last night was the most restless night of his life. He couldn't stop worrying about Charlene. The 15-year-old went to school on Thursday, but she never reported for class. Then she didn't come home either. She'd never run away before, so you can understand why her father was so concerned. Rolled up, tanking a half of gas looking for her. Spent a little time on the telephone? Yeah, I spent a lot of time on the telephone. I found some names that are uh, her friends. I, last name, I used last name in the area they stayed in. I got in the Cato, that's where she was supposed to be in. And I went through the whole list of names. I called some of everybody in the phone book. And, but it turned out it wasn't on a none of her friends, but I tried anyway. That's the best I could do, you know. More than 500 Atlanta parents have gone through the same thing, having a child disappear, not come home, not call. It's an awful feeling Charles Stevens now knows well. For him and most others, it has a happy ending. So far for 23 other families, though, that end has been tragic. And for two families, the end still has not come. Their children are still missing. It's just one of them things, you know, it ain't nothing nice. Don't nobody want to go through it. These kids, they be sending their parents through these things. They need to stop and think about it, you know. That's just like, you know, some parents, if they go off at night, the kids want to know where they're going, what time they're going to come back. They have to think about their parents feel the same way about them. Gary Reeves, Action News.